So I think we're gonna go like this. And then we're gonna use dirt for now as a stand-in. But <clears throat> there we go. Or should I just do this? This is a very compact uh, generator design, by the way. I'm not sure if like somebody else came up with this before me, or if this has just been like a mainstay or something, or you know whatever. This is how I do it. There should actually be. I'm gonna move this. I apologize for taking your job from you, sir, but you're going in this corner now. There you go. Enjoy your profession, I guess. Lava will go here, and then. Because it's not made of wood, this is perfect. Water will go there. And I'll just... Excuse me. Uh, I, again, I don't mean to mess up your thing here, but uh, I, I can't help but notice a distinct lack of trapdoors in this place. Which is completely and entirely fine. It's just I would kind of really uh, enjoy a trapdoor. A smoker and some pigs? What? I feel... Uh, wealthy beyond my years right now. Anyway, before I continue to divulging into insanity further and further beyond, uh, put this here. We're gonna grab some water. Hello! Don't mind me. Just retreating into the cove here. Put that there, put that there, and then put that there. Perfect. And see, this way the water doesn't go back, so it can't destroy the lava it's a very nice and oh my god stone holy crap <laughs> how weird i never thought i'd be happy to see cobblestone but here we are uh -huh. anyway okay uh before i continue distracting myself till the end of time uh <laughs> um let me get back to me telling you the story of my D, &D character uh so, he has, uh, mutton chops with a mustache and no chin. I don't, again, I don't remember what that's called, but we'll probably skip back to where I'm talking about this, so it doesn't really matter if I said this already. Uh, long orange hair, orange, uh, mutton chops with a mustache and green eyes, and obviously green goes well with orange, so... No, so does blue, by the way, but anyway, green goes well with orange, so after uh, I went through the egregious and time-consuming process of modeling, you know, getting finding a good outfit in the medieval setting in Hero Forge, I clicked on the western setting and found him a nice old western outfit that looked just absolutely amazing. And while I'm away, I'll, uh, I'm not gonna say I promise to record or anything, but while I'm away, I will definitely be playing Minecraft. I'll be playing games. My uh, father was nice enough to lend me one of his uh, gaming PCs. Or not one of his, his laptop, his gaming laptop. And uh, again, since I won't have my recording set up, I won't really be able to well, record. Shocker, I'm aware. But uh, yeah, so, you know, it's something. <sighs> it's definitely something. Anyway. This is actually pretty cool. A little crazy, but cool nonetheless. I wonder... I could smish it. Probably could. Look weird, but I probably could. Where do I put the stair? There it is. See, that just looks weird, though. And I am all for looking weird, but sometimes you just don't want it to. I'm gonna try a wall. Let's see how a wall does. Because a wall should block it, right? Yeah, a wall blocks it. That doesn't look too bad. It looks yeah, impossible, but it doesn't look too bad. It's not too big of an eyesore. 
And I'll do that so he, wherever he is, can't walk in. Ah, <sighs> this is better. Anyway. <laughs> hmm. I like the stylings of the church. Are you... Yeah, you're the, you're the pastor, aren't you? I don't want to level you up. I want to give other people jobs. Do you have a job yet? You you are the weaponsmith. You're the blacksmith. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Um, this is definitely way better of a start than I thought it was going to be. Over here, let's do some exploration. See the sights. Loot the chests. Um, I would... I'm very tempted, in fact, to see how uh, rare um, villager spawns are. Only because I would, you know, really desperately and uh, please, 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 please need some, uh, some spawns for... Um, I don't know what I'm saying. I would really like the Wandering Trader to spawn so I could, and this might shock you, buy a tree sapling. Because Wandering Traders trade trees. So, yeah. Uh, that's kind of on my docket at the moment. I have a crafting table, right? I should. I do. What do I not need? What do I not? What? What? What is the? How long have I had this? How long have I had this sapling in my possession? I don't have time for you. I think I got it out of the the blacksmithy. Ah! Wow. Okay. Um. We're gonna. Ah. Uh. <laughs> This thing has been the, the answer to every one of my problems. I think the first tree we plant goes right there. Yep. No qualms about it. Nada. Zilch. I think, actually, the first thing I should be doing is getting an area fenced off so I don't have to deal with these guys as much or at all. And I think we can probably use this stone that I've been collecting for that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And then I'm going to invest in getting some storage set up. So much more stuff than I thought I would ever have here in the barren wastes. Well, this is great. I can achieve my dream of having a old western town, which is actually what I was about to say. I spent a good amount of time uh, looking up tutorials to build a western style town, and I have the building, the blueprint, the method, everything. For for one memorized, I, it's it's in my head. I can build it right now if I had the materials. But I expected to need to wait a hot minute to get a wandering trader in here so I could, well, have wood. But I I have wood now. <laughs> that is the weirdest sentence I have ever said. I don't have wood yet, but I will very soon. Cactus coming in clutch right there. We're gonna get this area walled off just for I need like peace and quiet from the endless smooshing and slushing of slimes. And then after that, we'll decide kind of what we want to do. But until then, I just need all of you to just go away. All of you slimes, go away. And if we need more walls, I will craft more walls. I'm gonna take these though, because these could be useful at some point. Anyway, uh, so, like I said, uh, earlier, uh, by the time you see this, 
I will be uh, getting ready to board my flight out of where I live, the city in which I live. And I am very, very excited to do so. Okay. Breathe a good old fresh sigh of relative fresh air. Oh, I can't help but feel like Village is missing uh, Iron Golem or two. Hold on. We're gonna go music. Friendly creatures? You guys are not friendly in the slightest. Why do you guys count as friendly creatures? That's weird. That's weird. Okay. We now have slimes uh, audibly off. And that'll grow into a good old big and strong barrier so slimes can't come close. And then I think I might end up going into a uh, slime chunk finder and finding all the slime chunks so I can get rid of them. Which actually should be fairly easy considering uh, factors. I'm going to actually run around real quick to see if I can find an iron golem because I feel like there has to be at least one in the city right now. Yes, there's not. How did you get through? Oh, same way I did. Huh. I guess there's not enough room or something? I don't know why. That's odd. I'm going to open this up. <clears throat> uh, for the sole reason, and then I'll put this here, that uh, villagers lived here way before I did, and they should have free reign to the locked off section. I just need a locked off section because I don't want to deal with the slimes. Okay, we are now relatively, and by relatively I mean relatively, uh, in clean, clear, and free water. Hey, what did I say? Iron Golem. We are missing one. I am going to invest in another tree, I think. Ah. Okay, put that there. Looking good so far. Uh, hear no evil, see no evil. Okay, okay, okay. I have apples, I have bread, we have food. And you know what? This is this is actually quite a lot. There's a lot more here than I thought there was. This has uh, proven itself to be significantly easier and uh, way more fun of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. So, I think, honestly, we're probably going to just end it here for now. Um, I may record some tomorrow, and what I might end up doing is I might end up going in and cutting it up to where, like, uh, like 15, 20 minutes for every given instance, episode, or block of recording time that I spend doing this. And then, I think that'll just be what it is, I think, at some point. I think that'll be good. We're gonna open this up. Because I'm behind some safety, or relative safety anyway. There we go. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I continue to remember to record because this is great. This isn't gonna be something I will only record. I will be playing this in my off time because I. I'm actually quite happy with how things are turning out though so far. So tune in for the next time I record and I'll see you all the next time I do it. Goodbye.